Hi everyone, let's take a look at number 7 on page 386. Determine k given two vectors and the angle between them. Part A. Vector A is negative 1, 2, and negative 3. Vector B is negative 6k, negative 1, k. And the angle between them is 90 degrees. Part B. Vector A is 1, 1. Vector B is 0k. And the angle between them is 45 degrees. So step one, I'm going to draw a line in the middle. I'm going to divide this into two different columns. Let's solve them case by case. So in the first column, part A, write down the fact that A dot B equals to the magnitude of A times the magnitude of B cosine the angle between them. So if you look at the uh, left-hand side, a is given to be negative 1, 2, and negative 3, dotted into, and if you look at B, negative 6k, negative 1, and k. And this equals to the right-hand side. Now, normally, you can plug in A, find out the magnitude, but notice how the angle between A and B is 90 degrees. It's 90 degrees. So I don't really need to work out the magnitudes of A and B because when you take cosine of 90 degrees, this will give you zero. And of course, uh, zero times the magnitudes of A and B will still give you uh, zero, so you can copy that on the right-hand side. On the left-hand side, if you work this out, that's negative one times negative six K, that's gonna be positive six K. Two times negative one, that is gonna give you negative two. Negative 3 times k is going to give you minus 3k. So now you can collect like terms and solve for k. 6k minus 3k will give you k. Negative 2 brought to the right is going to be positive 2, which means k equals to 2 over 3. Now, in part b, you can set this up in the same format. So step 1, write down the fact that a dot b equals 2 the magnitude of A times the magnitude of B cosine the angle between them. Now the difference here is that the angle is going to be 45 degrees. So on the left hand side again A is going to be 1 1, B is going to be 0 K, but if you look at the right hand side you have to find the magnitude this time which means you take the square root of 1 square plus 1 square times uh, the square root of 0 square plus k square times cosine of 45 degrees. Again, be mindful uh, when you work this out, leave everything in exact form and don't round anything. So on the left hand side, you have 1 times uh, 0, that's going to give you 0. 1 times k is going to give you k. On the right hand side, the square root of 1 square plus 1 square is going to be root 2. Now, this is the part you really want to pay attention to. If you take the square root of k squared, this is not k. It could be positive k, it could be negative k. This is the absolute value of k. So I'm gonna come back to this in a moment. Cosine of 45 degrees is gonna be one over root two, or you can be uh, thinking root two over two, that's fine as well. So let's just make a note on the side. When you think about the square root of k squared, by definition, this is the absolute value of k. Again, k could be a positive number, k could be a negative number, uh, but when you square this, square root, this becomes the uh, absolute value of k. So if you go back to uh, the line now, this would give you, by collecting like terms, uh, root two divided by root two, that becomes a one. And on the left-hand side, you're gonna write down k. On the right-hand side, you're going to write down the absolute value of k. Now, here's how you can uh, understand this. Draw a diagram. So, if you sketch this, uh, what you'll notice is that on the left-hand side, uh, you have k. So, let's write down, instead of x and y, let's write down k on the x-axis. So, if I put this in one color, let's say we use uh, blue, uh, to graph this, you're basically graphing the straight line. So 
y equal to k looks like that. And if you look at the right-hand side, let's put this in a different color, let's say green, the absolute value of k is going to look something like that. So you can tell by the two graphs that the only way this would make sense is if k is greater than or equal to 0. So k is greater than or equal to 0. I hope this makes sense.